The drone crash turned what should have been an amazing time at Chitradurga into a memorable one. It really shook me, leaving me deeply saddened and spoiling my mood. I just couldn't stop thinking about it. Uh, we are on the Hospete uh, Highway, Humpy Highway. Not able to. I'm so sad. We are uh, riding through this beautiful windmill. You see the windmills behind me too. Beautiful it is. Um, but. Uh, I have already started missing my drone. I have got two shots. The ride from Chitradurga to Hampi was only 100 kilometers, mostly on a straight road. Remember the moment I entered into Chitradurga where the terrain suddenly changed and big boulders appeared out of nowhere. But the approach to Hampi was more gradual with no surprises along the way. By the time I reached Humpy, it was already evening. What is this place? An Instagram friend named Shreyas had given me the address of a homestay run by his friend's mom by the name Padma. The homestay was facing the Virupaksha temple. I checked in and fell asleep almost immediately. Figuring out uh, which place I can go first. There are a lot of places here in Hampi and I am staying in the middle, in the heart of Hampi. <clears throat> so, uh, so I've got a list of places that I, I wanted to go, that I've listed down before coming here. And I got a map given to me from the Padma homestay by Padma auntie herself. So we just entered into the Vittala temple. Looks like the Assassin's Creed setting, the old Egypt that sort of setting. This one is that? Hmm, Achitraya temples. Okay. Hill. This is Martinga Hill. Okay, cool. Pitala, I have to walk. Oh, Pitala, either see the Japa, you go from my instance, then just eight kilometers. Eight kilometers. Yeah. Achutraya Temple, established in 1534 AD by Achuta Devaraya, stands as a prime example of Vijayanagara style temple architecture in its most advanced form. Among the temples in Hampi, it represents one of the last grand projects undertaken in the capital before the fall of the empire. Dedicated to Lord Venkateshwara, it showcases the architectural brilliance of the Vijayanagara dynasty. It features two concentric rectangular enclosures with the main shrine situated within the inner enclosure. As you walk through the entrances, you will transport it back to a bygone era. Surrounded by grand courtyards, walls and towers adorned with intricate carvings. The temple opens onto a street known as the Courtesan Street, although much of the temple complex lies in ruins. The remaining structures still bear witness to its former magnificence and grandeur. So you're walking from Achutraya Temple. You see behind me, that is Achutraya Temple. 
and towards Vijaya Vitara temple. It's it's very isolated. There's not a lot of people here. My fear of missing out on not having a drone faded when I found out that drones are prohibited in Hampi. If caught flying one, the ASI will confiscate it and fine you around 1 lakh. I could have easily gotten into trouble. The open space between the Achutraya temple and Vijayavitala temple remains my favorite spot in Hampi. I spent some time there watching a group of butterflies of different varieties. The butterflies, the trees, the green grass and the ancient surroundings create a unique and tranquil atmosphere that's unlike anywhere else. So, uh, using tripods is pro prohibited here. You can't really use tripods apparently. There's the same case with Chitradurga also. It's all ASA property, right? So they are restricting tripods. I don't know why though. I have no idea why the tripods are not allowed. Because I travel solo, I use tripods. The tripod for everything. This is the road from the Varaha temple all the way to the Sugriva cave. I've not really gone to this, gone there yet, but this is the what you see right behind me is the Shivalaya. It's a temple. Yeah, and over there, that is the Tungabhadra River. The Vitala temple is regarded as one of the most ornate of all Vijayanagara temples. Built during the reign of King Devaraya II, the temple was further expanded and enhanced under the rule of Krishna Devaraya, the most famous ruler of Vijayanagara dynasty. Like, forget about the rulers, I was thinking about the workers, their skill and dedication in crafting these masterpieces from single rocks is what truly amazed me. One of the most striking features of the Vitala temple complex is the richly sculpted stone chariot, which stands as a testament to the architectural brilliance of the Vijayanagara kingdom. The Maha Mantapa or main hall is situated in the inner courtyard of the complex. Among its most famous elements are the musical pillars of the Ranga Mantapa. This large mantapa is renowned for its 56 musical pillars also known as Sarigama pillars, named after the musical notes they emit when gently tapped. Hi, what's your name? Pradeep. Pradeep. You're from? West Bengal, Kolkata. You must be knowing Amit, right? Amit Sinha. Counting miles. Don't know. YouTube. No, I right. So you just have to walk one and a half kilometer from here. You'll reach uh, the Vitara. I thought it was recording. It wasn't. Those two guys, man. The other guy is from West Bengal. He's... He came with his wife and she's on another bike on another cycle on two two different cycles and it's just crazy guys so seeing all of these places we got back to our bike and i saw these guys cycles parked over here look at that how cute <laughs> we've got a indian flag flying high this is the Atlas cycle that he's talking about. <laughs> there, if you want to help them, you can scan this QR code right now. Reach home and hopefully they'll... <laughs> Superb! Mad respect!
अच्छा है नाप रोगी लंच है ना अंदर क्या नाम थैंक्स इन द इवनिंग आई वांडर्ड अराउंड द विरू पाक्षा टेंपल वाचिंग द प्राइमेट्स प्ले There were northern plain grey langurs, and I noticed plenty of them as soon as I arrived in Hampi. I haven't seen them in such numbers anywhere else, causing all sorts of chaos. Uh, the time is about six now. Uh, the sun is going to set, so everybody is everybody is lined up to. Witness the sunset here. See them, all of them. Positioning myself on an ancient building, all alone, and witnessing the vibrant sun setting, felt like I was sharing a memory with the thousands who lived here many years ago. For a moment, I felt like one of them. I went to sleep that day thinking about the other side of Hampi that I would explore the next day.